Hi, this is Foreclosure Defense and Real Estate Attorney Roy Oppenheim. I wanted to share with you today some interesting developments that are occurring in the area of foreclosure defense and short sales. And uh, what's really unique that's going on right now is that for the first time on a nationwide basis, we're seeing more short sales coming to market than foreclosures. Now, we've been saying here from for a very long time that it was always in everyone's best interest, the bank's best interest, the homeowner's best interest, the new buyer's best interest, and the community's best interest to do a short sale as opposed to proceeding with a foreclosure where the bank ends up owning property that they really don't want, that they really can't handle, and that they end up really just screwing up the neighborhood for everybody. And so, uniquely, we now are seeing that the banks have come to this conclusion themselves that it is in everyone's best interest, including their own best interest, to go ahead and try and get someone out of the property and do a short sale. In fact, we have already been able to save our clients over $22 million worth of deficiencies through these short sales. We're getting about 85 or 90 percent of all our short sales approved, and of those where people have to pay a deficiency, they're paying maybe 5, 10, 12 percent of the, of the total amount, and that's only in very unique circumstances. Most of the time, our clients are walking away scot-free, and in many cases, and I know this is hard to believe, people are ending up with 15, 20, 25, 30, sometimes $35,000 in walking money, money that the banks give the sellers at closing in order to leave. Now, why are they doing this? Well, because they realize that if they go through the foreclosure process, they're going to have a dickens of a time getting you out of the property because in many cases, you're going to be able to hire someone like me to show that the bank really doesn't have standing, that it doesn't have jurisdiction, it doesn't own the note, and that it's in some sort of securitized trust that wasn't even allowed to properly transfer and assign the note. And so in order to obviate that whole problem, what the banks have come to the realization, and it's a logical one, that it is in their best interest and your best interest to go ahead and do the short sale. So obviously we are continuing to defend homeowners left and right, but at times, many times, it is in everyone's best interest to just go ahead and do the short sale. Obviously there are various strategies that we employ and we would love to talk to you more about it, but in some cases we do a foreclosure defense and sometimes end up doing a short sale at the end. Each situation is particularly unique. So I ask you to think about your situation. If you're underwater and making payments on your mortgage just doesn't make sense anymore, give us a call. Roy Oppenheim from the trenches. Have a great day.